Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Here we just received another modification for our Tesla Model 3 and uh, this item here is going to be one of the easiest items to install ever. Uh, this may be one of our shortest videos on an install and mod for our Tesla. Now this item here is going to save you from a lot of headaches in the future and it looks like it's really well done and you'll see what it's for coming up. As we see here, out of all the things on the planet that could have been stuck in here, leaves, gravel, any other debris, plastic bags, who knows what, but a cigarette, dude, that is really freaky, a cigarette inside the grill area there. So you could imagine how many other things can fall in there and plug up that condenser uh, cooler in, in, in there and it could clog it up and uh, your AC overheats and who knows what but anyway we have to take that piece of cigarette out of there because I can't stand it believe it a cigarette where's my cigarettes hey, were you smoking cigarettes no dad I think there's some leaves in there as well but leaves don't bother me as much because they all disintegrate after time all right after we cleaned it now we're ready to go ahead and install the new grills and these new grills here have a screen in the back. Stainless steel screen it won't let a cigarette or anything else fall inside that area there, the intake area. That's gonna avoid a lot of problems and headaches in the future. So here we go with the installation. All right, so we were able to take off a few leaves and leaves and of course the famous cigarette butt. But the worst part is not down here. It's all the way on the top of the condenser. All the debris is caught up up in there and there's no way to grab that from here. And I don't think there's a way for me to show you all the way up in there because it's difficult to see. Uh, but that will be another video in the future. We're going to have to take off our frunk uh, basket in there and clean it all out. Uh, probably in the near future. Something we should do. And this product here, it's going to save us from having that to happen again because there's a screen on it. It's not going to let anything get in there anymore. So I highly recommend this product. I think this is something that should have been done from from the beginning because there is a lot of debris falling in there, even debris that I didn't even expect, like a cigarette. But anyway, here we go with the installation now. So now we're ready to install the new ones. And I have to take this little thing off here because this is just to protect that little clip there. We'll just put that to the side and this only goes on one way you can see the shape there at the end and it fits exact there so now we're going to go ahead and clip it in place there Okay, 
where now we're ready to just push in and I did hear several clicks and we're looking for those clicks to make sure that uh, everything's clicked in place well there we go I just heard the click in there and it stayed behind let's see here Yeah, we hear the clicks. Let me see. Yeah, it feels like it's in place there. Now, overall, I don't know, I still hear a little bit of clicks there. It looks like it's not completely in. Maybe you have to give a little bit more force. I don't know. See, this time it stayed. Let me see this side. Okay. There we go. The way it looks, it looks awesome. I really like the look in it. And this side. And that's really it there. Now the hardest part in this here, let me see this here because I still see this a little. A little loose here maybe we push it in further I don't see the uh, clicking on this end here of this one but you can still pull it out I'm figuring if I push it in it doesn't go any further than that but it feels like it may come off really easy All right, we're going to have to figure out why it's not holding in place. Let's see. Okay, so you just line it up. And push in. You'll hear a click. There's the click there. And there should be a click on the top. Now, this side is perfect. This side here moves a little bit because there's nothing grabbing up here or down here but here in here top and bottom there's a little tab on the top and there's a clip on the bottom that clips in well and, and it doesn't move out but this side here has nothing holding it so if you pull from the top you're able to pull it out slightly even though this clip is still holding so it looks like just these two clips here are the ones going to hold the whole thing and that's it same thing with this other one this side is perfect and then the center part moves out I mean I guess it makes it easier to remove when you need to clean them that's the only thing I can think but other than that the two clips here hold well and the two on this side hold well it's just the center part there's really nothing clicking in here or here in the middle part same thing with this one so let's see how that holds up and uh, I do like the look of it I'm not too convinced with the middle part being loose like that so uh, there may be a follow-up video on the outcome of this after I have a few times driven with it and see how that performs um, so I'll give you an update on that later on on another video if this moves out of place or not so for now we just have a tab and a clip and a tab and a clip holding the whole thing nothing in the middle here so let's see how that pans out in the future see here this green grill is not just for looks it's a necessity I just don't understand how Tesla has not addressed this problem 
many years ago. It's definitely a problem as you can see here. Okay, so other than just that little issue with the installation, um, it's, it, it may not even come off, who knows? But uh, we'll follow up on that. But I do like the appearance, it looks really cool. It, it has a shape on it that gives me a sporty look on the car, I like it. Now, if you do like uh, the, uh, the uh, screen for what it's worth because it'll stop materials and bunch of other stuff getting in there clogging up your condenser unit for the air, air conditioning uh, in my case I'm gonna have to take off the uh, frunk completely off and the inside and I'm gonna have to clean that out because it is full of debris in there just because Tesla didn't put a screen to protect that side there uh, in this case now we have the screen so no additional debris is gonna fall inside there that's why I do recommend it and um, as long as it doesn't fall off, uh, in this case, I don't think it'll fall off, but it's just me because I'm really picky and, and, um, and it may be just fine. But like I said, if you don't see a video in the next couple of weeks, it's because everything is fine. Now, if you wanna buy this product, there's a link here in the description for it. And also you can use our promo code and, and save some money if you wanna buy it. Now, I would buy it if I had to, just because it'll stop all this debris getting inside there, damaging the condenser unit inside the uh, front, under the front there. So I recommend it so far. Thank you so much for watching this video again. I hope this video helps you. And if you like it, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So thank you so much for your support and we'll see you next time on the next video. And like I always say, get Tesla ties and charge on, baby.